Okay guys, so this little box essentially is a current follower and I didn't really know what to call it, but this outlet here is normally off and this outlet here is normally on and this one will monitor the current draw of this one and when this one draws more current than the set limit, then this one will turn on. And I have two different programs, one if you want this to be normally off or normally on. And basically the reason I wanted to use it was because I'm setting up a new lab in my apartment and I, have, I bought these motion sensor lights and I wanted the rest of my lights in the room to turn on when the motion sensor lights turned on. So now I could have just used a switch on the wall, but it just got me thinking how would I do that? So. Here I'm using a microcontroller, just a little Atmel chip, a current sensor. This is an ACS 712T and a solid state relay. And this solid state relay is pretty cool because you only need three volts um, and only uh, maybe four milliamps to trigger 120 volt AC devices. So the problem is I couldn't fit the small 5 volt power supply into the little box. So it powers itself, basically. It has to plug in. But you know, you could put a, a power strip on this or a power strip on this side. This is, could just be the base station, kind of. So this is just a neon lamp, so you can see when this gets triggered or not. On the side is the adjustable uh, sensitivity. It's best to just turn the sensitivity all the way down, turn this on, and then increase the sensitivity until you get a trigger. So right about there. So now it'll there's a slight delay. Basically in the program it's waiting for a hundred cycles of the no load condition before it turns off. So that's that delay. So it's pretty easy to pick up on a no load versus load condition, but it's pretty cool that this is sensitive enough to pick up on minor changes in current such as hot air and cold air. This is hot air, this is cold air, hot air, cold air. So this thing ended up being a lot more useful than I thought it would be. Originally just wanted it for my motion sensor lights, but then I realized that you could use this to make anything motion sensor or if you have a one of those nighttime ducks, dusk to dawn sensors, you could turn anything into a dusk to dawn device. And let's say you put a motion sensor uh, in the front of your house, this could have an extension cord to your you know, bedroom or something like that and a light or alarm goes off um, when the motion sensor is tripped. So there's a lot of different uses for this and I'm still coming up with more and more. So if you had like a machine, for example, that was drawing more current than usual, you could trigger an air conditioning unit or, you know, several fans and a lot of other things like that. I have a bright light next to my bed, so usually when my alarm goes off, I turn that bright light on. It kind of helps me get up in the morning. So something like this would actually just turn that light on for me when the alarm gets triggered in the morning. But I don't have a write-up yet, but when I do, I'll put one in the description, as, you know, along with the uh, program and the code for the normally on and normally off uh, program and maybe I'll do a follow-up video on the insides, but we'll see. Alright guys, well, hope you liked the video. I'll see you later. Bye.